who is in the shop again? That will be me. My trip is over, finally. Let me fix the camera. I pulled in the truck into the shop because I have some uh, air leak from my uh, brake pedal. I think it's the brake, the brake valve, yeah. Uh, just quick, quick update. I spent $7,300 on fuel for this trip. 6,000 miles, $7,300. So there you go. That's how much you spend on fuel. And um, I just want to show you this thing. That's my new engine. Whatever I had, whatever I had under the hood on this one, that was just a temporary. Until I built this one. This is a. Uh, this is gonna be a thousand horsepower Cummins engine. <laughs> Just kidding, they'll fall apart at 600 horsepower. They're not gonna last a thousand horsepower, come on. Maybe a one or two pulls and they will be just exploding all over the place. Yeah. This engine is for sale. If somebody's interested, send me a message. Hook up, it's all brand new. Everything's brand new. Out of frame. Factory 560, I think, yeah. Factory 560, 1850. It can be tuned up to 2050 easily. Over 600 horsepower. You can swap twins from PDI and uh, you can enjoy 700 horsepower out of this engine until this thing falls apart too. <laughs> I will put in some air in the system. What turns out, I just had two hoses on the front uh, brake chambers. They were like little. Uh, that little cracks for some reason so that's why I had when I press on my uh, on, the, on the brake I had a little hissing noise I thought it was the brake valve but it just turned out to be that the uh, air hoses are bad that's it simple we just we're just making sure there's air now I'm gonna check and get out of here well there you have it parked it up everything's good Got it all fixed up. This is patches. This is the glider, high rail. I used to drive this truck before. She's pretty nice. But it's a control. It's not bad. It's got the same wheelbase. 264, big bunk. It's got a bubble top. High rail, of course. That needs new bottom rail, by the way. Yeah. This one will, oh yeah. Oh yeah, she needs a new. She needs a new frame rails, that's for sure. It's pretty, pretty solid truck. I mean, truck by itself. The trailer, yeah. It's got some issues. So, see, see the thing? 75 feet. Whatever. Yeah, I would say the same. Just my show is a little bit longer for some reason. About, about a foot maybe. Uh, yeah, about a foot or two. Longer. Nice. I love this truck. It's got 18 speed. 18 speed, it's got CAT 6 and Z. 6 and Z CAT that we just uh, rebuilt at uh, 700,000, I think. Put a new head, a uh, new, well, bearings, main bearings, pistons, rings, new head, new injectors. She's running good. Yeah, this truck looks really nice. This is the Corvette. That orange, this is the Corvette spec. It used to be nice. It's a good combo though. It's got a big bumper. But you see the difference? Uh, 
like I'm running 295.60 this one runs 275.80 those last way longer than these ones it's an inch difference to me. let me see if I can show you the height difference there you go if you can see the height difference between those two trucks because this one runs uh, like I said 285.70 Michelin's so yeah those last over 100,000 miles this 60 tops so yeah I don't know I was thinking maybe I, sh I can switch I can switch to this style but I don't know if I'm gonna have enough space because I'm running the bigger fenders um, okay leave the truck here they will wash it later there's a guy that comes in um he's got a like mobile truck wash system he's gonna come in and wash the trucks wash and anton's trucks truck and uh yeah make it all nice like i said my trip is over um i'm not i can't I'm not gonna tell you the exact gross revenue that I made just you know for my safety I would say but <laughs> let's say it was over four dollars a mile which for car horse is kind of average not the best not the worst and uh, if you don't believe me how much spent for fuel I'm gonna show you right now we got fuel seventy three hundred eighty dollars there you go that's how much I spent for that 6,000 mile trip I know it's a lot and I have so you see I have local pickup delivery when I'm lazy I send the guy to pick up cars for me I pay for parking there was a broker fee this trip there's the fuel fee and the total the total comes to 8128 that's how much I spent out of my pocket this trip expenses um, and of course if you guys have uh, truck payment insurance which everybody pays insurance with you can just just add this to the expenses if you do one trip a month if you do two trips a month whatever the case is so like I said average four bucks a mile six thousand miles you can make calculations in your head I guess and then you know $8,100 for expenses which is a lot yeah sheesh that's a lot of money man $7,300 for fuel makes you want to think is it even worth it but you know it's, it's a lifestyle and I don't know I guess we don't do it just for the money we do it for our pleasure, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, spend more money on fuel and everything. And be fine. Okay, guys, I just want to add something real quick to my outro. Uh, I hope I don't. I hope I don't offend anyone. But if you're looking at this video and you're thinking, "Oh, this guy's making a lot of money hauling cars," why don't I go and do the same thing? If you are pulling anything other than cars right now if you like drive in reefer flat bed step back whatever if you think I'm making money think again because you may seem you may think that I make a lot of money just based on my gross revenue right like over four dollars a mile whatever but car hauls that's a special equipment that's a specialized equipment it costs a lot of money it costs like twice or three times more than what you're driving right now, I would say. Like, don't believe me? Go check how much a car hauler costs. Like, not just a regular car hauler. Like, we're talking about a nice car hauler. You know, 10 car, whatever. Uh, if you're driving, it's worth like $50,000 $50, and your tractor's like one fifty two hundred. Well, car hauler's are twice than that. Three, three times more than that. So... Before you make any uh, uh, decisions 
to quit your job and become a car whore, whatever. Think how much expenses you're gonna have. Uh, expensive truck, two to three times more than a regular truck or whatever you're pulling. Fuel. <laughs> Car hauls get the worst fuel mileage in all all trucks compared to heavy haul. I would say heavy haul, three four miles a gallon. Car hauler, if it's a new brand new one, like maybe four five. If you got a cat, three four miles a gallon. There you go. Like I said, my cost fuel cost is over a dollar per mile to drive my truck. Over a dollar per mile. So think about it. You make 10,000 miles a month, you spend over $10,000 in fuel. In a drive and a reefer, you get, I don't know, you get way way less than that. That's for sure. Uh, second, insurance costs way more than uh, your drive in Way more than your reefer. Some guys are running a million dollar policy, you know? That costs money. That costs... Like car hauls, we get like over thirty thousand dollars a year for insurance. Over, not under, over thirty thousand dollars a year. And the more expensive your truck is, the more money you pay. Maintenance, we have a lot of maintenance, guys. Like our tires do not last that long. Like front steer tires, fifty, sixty thousand miles stops. Trailer tires, okay, they might last a little bit if you put good tires. Like, if you put a good brand tires, you're gonna get a good, uh, you know, you're gonna drive over 100,000 miles. But steers, 50,000. You gotta change them twice a year, three times a year sometimes if you pop a tire. Uh, every uh, every set of steers, it's like 15 to 1800 dollars. Depend depends where you at. Uh, what else like like the maintenance like I told you like you have to you have a lot of hydraulics You have a lot of moving parts. You have a lot of hoses and stuff This thing breaks all the time. This thing needs to be like repaired right away. There's no hydraulic shops at, at every corner, you know that costs money to call someone to to fix it if you can't fix it yourself You know if you pop a hose if you don't have the quick connects to do it you're looking at Dude a lot of money a lot of money so before you think that you're gonna make a lot of money in car hauling just add your expenses first that's the first thing to do and then decide if you want to switch to car hauling don't just think that it's easy money it's a lot of work you gotta work a lot too you gotta go to every residential area like streets like that like small streets there's trees God forbid you uh, scratch a car. Like, if you don't know where you're going, if you scratch, you have five cars on top, right? Five cars on top. Imagine scratching all of those cars, the roofs. You're looking at thousands of dollars in repairs. Thousands of dollars. Not just a few bucks. A lot of money. So, there you go, guys. Think twice. Not even twice. Three times, four times before you jump into car hauling. You need to be experienced, you need to have CDL for over two years. You need to have experience car hauling prior to start car hauling. So you can't just jump in with your new CDL. Maybe some companies will take you, like both big companies, URS or something. Uh, they'll teach you, they'll train you, but you're not gonna make money there. You're gonna make more money hauling driving than being a car hauler for a big company. Think about that before you make any decisions. And like I said, I, I don't mind showing my expenses. I'll show you my expenses if you want to know. Uh, and then you, you, you'll figure out if it's worth it for you. But right now, if you, if you want to do car hauling, man, you're looking at $400,000 for a truck. $400,000 and up. Unless you want to buy a piece of junk that's going to fall, like it's going to break. The first trip you you go on, make money. You're not gonna make money. You're gonna lose money. So, yeah. If you don't have fifty thousand dollars in your pocket to start car hauling, after you buy a truck, of course, don't even start, because you're not gonna make it. Like, you ain't gonna make it. Uh, so yeah, I mean, what else? Like, like maintenance, experience, insurance, uh, MPG. 
like that's that's a lot of that's a lot of money that's a lot of expenses so guys if you have anything any questions just ask me I'll, I'll answer for you you know if uh, if you want to if you want to see my expenses for each trip I'll show you that too like I have more problems with that about the income I don't know I can just tell you like average um, rate per mile I would say let's do rate per mile that, that'll give you some kind of some kind of idea what I'm making but I, I can't disclose every last penny that I make you know like nobody no nobody does that like ask anyone they're not gonna do it for you but I have no problem showing my expenses so yeah any questions just ask me if you really want to start car hauling I don't mind helping out people you know I've helped a lot of people before it's just I'm telling you right away like up front your expenses are gonna be huge to start huge so if you're looking to start car hauling just I don't know just just save money first doing something else get your experience right and then I don't know maybe maybe well see you next time that ends my trip that I did to Ohio and back uh, it's a 6,000 mile trip, $7,300 for fuel, $8,200 total expenses for the trip. I'm not including insurance and truck payment. Okay? I'm not including that. So, add, add to the expenses on top. And then what you got left, man. Yeah, you can count, right? So, yeah, uh, this is it for this uh, trip. Next trip we're going to Florida. There's gonna be a lot of stuff that you guys will like, I'm pretty sure. So I'll show you everything. And uh, you get to see some people that are very, you know, very cool people. You you get to see them. Uh, we'll meet them and uh, you'll see how, how they do what, they're in a different side of the car hauling business because they do different stuff. They have better trucks than mine so you'll get to see that and uh, uh what else yeah that's it i'll show you that next trip florida enjoy see you next time let's go